Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're going to tie a peacock and starling soft tackle. I've got a wet fly hook in the vise. You can use a TMCO 3769 or Daiichi 1560. This is a size 12, but you can tie this down to size 18. I'm going to start with some 70 denier black thread just behind the eye of the hook. Put on a few turns of thread and then trim off my excess. At this point I'm going to lay some copper wire along the hook shank. This is small copper wire. Take that back to the back of the hook. Now on this fly I'm going to use some really cool dyed peacock from Nature's Spirit. They have this in a bunch of colors and this purple is a really awesome looking peacock. I'm going to even those up. This is the tip ends of these three pieces of peacock girl. Even those up. Lay those along the hook shank. And I want them to go just shy of the eye there. Take my thread back to the front to that wire tie-in point. Now I can advance that peacock curl forward. When I get to that tie-in point, I'll tie off the peacock. <coughs> Trim off the excess. Let's do a little half hitch there. Just make sure the peacock stays put. And then I'll counter rib the peacock with my copper wire. Five or six turns of the wires evenly spaced. Tie that off. take out my wire, just hold it in place and wiggle until it breaks. Now take a starling feather. And what I've done with that is I've cleaned it up by removing the fluffy stuff off the back of the feather. This is a bigger fly so I found a bigger feather. I'm going to fold back on half of those fibers on that feather. I got the tip left there. Trim that out. Tie that in like so. Now fold those fibers back so they want to lay back when I wrap them. Go ahead and once you're comfortable with them how they're laying back. We'll go ahead and wrap those on. Come on. Sometimes with soft tackles you have to play with the feather a little bit to get it to be happy with where it wants to lay. There we go. Once I've wrapped that all on there, I'll tie off the stem, fold the stem back. I'm going to just finish this fly with about three or four half hitches. And then at that point, I'll trim off my oh, trim off my stem. Here we have a really simple little wet fly, kind of classic wet fly, but with that really vibrant purple peacock hurl. They make this, or they dye this hurl in a bunch of colors, bluing olive, PMD, purple, pink, really great looking colors of that natural iridescence of the peacock with the, 
the combination of the die really gives you a lot of options and a lot of different applications but this is a fun one on this little wet fly so give this a shot be a fun one to to swing or even drop as a, a dropper below another nymph or fish off of a tippet ring above a heavy jig nymph a um, lot of different ways to fish soft tackles and wet flies um, it's a it's an area that a lot of people have forgotten about using more classic wet flies but they are simple but extremely effective flies so mess around with this one and, and look at some of our other soft tackle videos and wet fly videos and, and, and start fishing wet flies.